What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bold Ratty here. And uh, today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial. Uh, <clears throat> this is something that I, I've used, I just started using in uh, my edits. And you'll see it when uh, Dare uploads the, uh, the episode. But this is a pretty cool transition and title effect. I mean, it flows both ways. Uh, you can use it for whatever. Uh, some common editors use this, like Gotar and uh, Vexel and all them guys. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be creating. <laughs> So, as you've seen right there, we're going like uh, we're gonna be creating this where like there's the draw the jaws and uh, it goes into uh, different colors and whatnot. So uh, let's get started. You wanna do a new comp? Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do whatever. Ten seconds. Uh, you wanna go to layer, new, solid. Then you go to effect, generate, ramp, and you can choose whatever color you want, but make sure this is radial. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with, let's do orange. Yeah, orange. You want to change that, then you want to change the bottom color to black. If you want like a dark background or whatever, you can change, you can mess with the colors and whatnot, but so bring that top one there and bring this to your liking. Uh, that should be right. And then you can easily have it like this, but I like to add uh, some text onto mine. So let's put some text in there. Let's just uh, put something random. Whoops. And then you can center it or do whatever you want with it, but we'll just try and center that. It doesn't need to be nice because this is just a tutorial to help you guys. <coughs> Okay, so then what you want to do is uh, you want to highlight both of these layers. So I'm going to hold shift and select the other layer. And then you want to go to layer pre-compose. Uh, we'll just call it, you know, we'll just call it pre-comp one. And then, whoops, there's that. And then so you uh, want to go in and make a layer new solid, make another solid. We'll keep it black. Uh, add another ramp. Uh, this time we'll do, let's, uh, do, uh, green's too bright, so we'll do, we'll do red, change this to radio, change this to black, bring this, you want it somewhere towards the middle, but I'll just put wherever, <clears throat> uh, you want to basically just do the same thing, add some text, uh, we'll just put in, by ratty, go over here and whoops, adjust it towards the middle you want to do the same thing hold shift click on the black solid layer go to layer pre-compose pre-compose that <clears throat> all right so I'm just gonna drag this on top so we have that one now what you want to do is to do the transition is you want to go up to effect first off we're just gonna drag this this bottom comp over here so it's out of the way click on the pre-comp one you want to go to Effect, Transition, CC Jaws. And you can mess around with these different transitions, but I like CC Jaws. So, it'll be, you can first off, you can have like a, well this black is, you can have a, a video clip, which you just want to do, uh, let's go in and import a video clip real quick. Uh, we'll just grab one of Will see, Will see's clips. We'll just put, oh, whoa, that's really... One sec. We'll go on and put a longer clip. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll just go on and put one of Zeno's kill cams in here. We just need, it doesn't really matter. We just need like a long clip so it can flow with our comp. Alright, so you can have your clip like this, and then if you want like a transition to come in, if you want this transition to come in, you'll keyframe right here, and then just go to where you want it to start. So we'll you want it to start here, so then we'll just go to about, I say, right here. You want to change this to zero. 
So then as you can see right here, when you flow it through, the transition comes in there. That can come on for a little bit. <clears throat> so then you want to drag this one over. It's about right. And then you want to go to effect, transition, add the jaws again. Change this to about 100. Whoops, you want to put this up the top, sorry. Change that to about 100, keyframe it, go to where you want that one to come in, so where you want it to end, I mean. Put that to zero. As you can see right here, there's the clip, it flows into this, then it goes to this. But if you want like a cool transition, what I like to do is, uh, let's go back and find the last point created, CC Jaws. About right here, I believe. What I like to do is change this, hold shift and make it go over to the side so like when you do this it'll go there and then this one comes to the side. So that's basically it but I'm going to show you like uh, where you can transition it all out again. So uh, we'll just go about here and we'll, where's this at, keyframe this. And then we'll have it go to about right, right here. You want to put this back to 100. So then it'll go there by Ratty. Go out again. Let's see. What I like to do is, I'm such a nerd, but I'll just put it like that. So then you can have like the opposite transition. It goes in. Oh, whoops. One sec. I must have did that wrong. All right, well, oh, here we go. Put it right here. Hmm, seems not to be, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing, sorry. Sorry for the long way, but I know what I'm doing wrong. Put this right here, direction. All right, there you go. And it'll just flow out to the side again. And then so you wanna do the same for this one, go here, CC Jaws, and then you want to uh, keyframe, so remember to keyframe, you gotta always know how to keyframe, so we'll go back a frame until the other one stops and comes out, so about right here, keyframe that over a couple frames and then we'll just go to here change that to 100 and see as you as you progress through it you get the hang of it but whoops it should flow through it should flow through very well as you can see here But that's basically the whole entire thing to do. I mean, it's an easy transition you can do. You can do it with different clips and whatnot. But uh, I hope this helped you guys out with some stuff. And uh, I'll be posting more tutorials on my channel to help you guys out. So I hope you like. And thanks.